Are you ready? Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here's a lovely letter from one of the local uh, people who have a very big opinion about what's going on in the world today. All right. So. Do you want to start at the beginning, or are you going to start with the new? Um. Well, I originally got a letter. Uh, listed to management, I'm assuming. Titled management. Yes, I'm assuming that's addressed to me. All right, uh, that there is a U.S. intel agency connected to the elite wealthy perpetrating the supposed flu pandemic. The pandemic is a hoax. The president knows this, but can't go against it because of the financial influence of the elite wealthy <laughs> and Federal Reserve. They also have cameras that can't be seen and they have put them and microphones in every street, business, store, restaurant, bar, and in most of the public bathrooms. They started using the known term corona, then made up the term COVID, as in the agency and the elite watch people go to the bathroom. Um, please tell people. They might be... They might manipulate you further and bribe you, <laughs> but tell people anyway. They have no power. They have taken over Savannah. Uh, everyone is bribed. They are communicated to through hired citizen agents and or text messages. Talking to people through earpieces and having them act out, they create a phony reality here. Their only real purpose for being here is to supply the elite wealthy with bathroom porn. That's that one. <laughs> All right, next chapter. Today's new love letter from this fella. You are dealing with the U.S. Intel Agency connected to the elite wealthy. They are perpetrating the supposed flu pandemic the pandemic is a hoax. The president knows this, but can't go against it because of the financial influence of the elite wealthy in the Federal Reserve. So I have deja vu. Uh, they also have cameras that can't be seen, and they have put them and microphones in every street business, store, bar, restaurant, and in most pu public bathrooms. They started using the known term corona. They made up the term COVID as in the agency and the elite Watch people shit. go to the bathroom. They have taken over Savannah. Everyone is bribed. They are communicated to through citizen agents and or text messages. This is like a total it's, rerun. It's a total so, rerun. So wait, wait, wait. But it goes further. All right. right, go, go, go. Talking to people through earpieces and having them act up. Um, they create a phony reality here for no reason at all. They have nothing else to do. Their only purpose is to supply the elite wealthy with citizen bathroom porn. All right, the Intel agency microchipped me 14 years ago and had cameras inside where I lived for six and a half years, then made me homeless. They convinced my family I was in some special government training program. They are using me as the center of this reality game they're playing. Through the chip, they are on my every thought uh, pre thoughts and body activity they watch me on cameras 24 hours a day shrink my penis <laughs> and I, oh, wait, there's more and I was sexually abused um, make me defecate myself piss myself they have starved me many times they have everyone around me act out and attempt to annoy me they put me in a jail 12 times Put me in a mental hospitals 11 times. They broke my nose badly and gave me eight stitches in my face. A 300 plus pound guy recently rearranged my teeth in Charleston. Charleston has been taken over like Savannah. They assaulted me many times. It looks like I will get out of this soon with a settlement of many billions. I offered you for I offer you 40 million or more if you get any newspaper or magazine the size of the Savannah Connect or larger to publish an article on this situation regarding me and the current situation in Savannah and also got seven or more other people 
to get articles published to get 40 million. If anyone falls short of getting an article published and getting seven people to get articles published, but one or more articles get published due to their efforts, we can talk about it. He's like negotiating and um, about it and they will receive appropriate compensation. If the paper or magazine an article is published in is larger than the Savannah Connect, there will be more money given. Tell the editor your experience of the situation here, but he can't include your experience of the situation or have written he has an account of someone's experience here. Give the editor a copy of this letter. I will give the editor 10 million if he publishes an article. Give the editor a code word and I'll ask you and the editor for the word. Then I'll know slash find out who was responsible for this article. Don't tell anyone you used a code word and the editor cannot tell anyone he got a code word. If they bribe the editor to get information, he needs to refuse the bribe and I'll match it. The bribe offer. <laughs> You can offer two people between you and the editor one million apiece to talk to the editor. Tell them they'll get paid if the editor does the piece and you are offering the editor ten million. If they later try to bribe people between you and the editor, I'll match it, the bribe offer. Continue to do what they want here. They will most likely talk to you about doing the article. They lie about everything. Take money if they offer it, but don't tell them you're going to do this. You can tell them you don't know. And they are in everyone's phone and computer. Include my name in the article. Best, Tim Murnane. P.S. Go outside Savannah to get articles published. Oh, P.P.S. Articles need to be published by 9-7-20. Let's fucking remember that date. All right, the end <laughs> of chapter two on this guy. That is a crazy person. I'm winded just from reading the repetition. <laughs> There's a lot of repetition. He had the whole first part totally like almost verbatim from the first letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like verbatim. He, I know. He rewrote the exact same thing. The exact same thing. It, like, yeah. He wanted to make sure you got that first thing. He, I mean, he is programmed. And what about the special part about the shrinkage? Shrinking of the penis. Wait, <laughs> let's get back to that. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold, hold on. Let me revisit that. Let's revisit moment. the shrinking of the penis. <laughs> <laughs> and the rearrangement of his face. Okay, wait, here it is. They watch me on cameras 24 hours a day. They sh shrink my penis. <laughs> and in parentheses, and I was sexually abused. Uh, is the shrinking of there's the penis so many other good, there's so many like, other good points in make there. Make me defecate myself, piss myself. They have starved me many times. But he's going to give us $20 million. Yeah, this guy's loaded. <laughs> but he has to... Fucking have to deal no, with. He's got to get get over that homeless penis. gap first, and then penis shrinkage problems. <laughs> it's, 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 he's got to get over the penis shrinkage problem and, the, and the homeless person problem. But he has twenty million dollars to give us. I probably could get an article out of this. Uh, I think we're gonna get something anyway. I'm better uh, than a fucking. I can't even get a fucking art article. I might be able to get one out of this shit. Holy shit! All right, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Let's uh, end this uh, video. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs>